Cables are important and they're used to turn on motors and they're also used to take information from sensors. I'm just going to show you now on the brick. Outputs, turning on things like motors, are connected to A, B, C and D. And when we use sensors, like the touch sensor or the ultrasonic sensor, they're connected to one, two, three and four. Now, I've written a little program, which is simply to turn on a motor when I press the button. And as you can see, nothing is happening. If I take one of the LEGO connection cables and connect it into B, and then I connect that to my motor as well, hear it click, like so, and now press the button. The motor's turning. And this is really important when you first start using EV3 to remember is getting the cables into the correct port. Outputs A, B, C, D, inputs one, two, three, and four. And we have lots of cables for you to use. The final cable to talk about is the USB cable. We use this when we first start programming and we simply connect to our computer with one end and into the brick at the other. It's also used, when you get a little bit more advanced, to talk from one brick to another. And now we can write a program that tells two bricks to do things as well.